Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new declutter. I'm going to be decluttering my concealers over here on this side, and then I'm also going to be decluttering like my powders, face powders, setting powders, foundation powders, things like that, so that's what we have on this side. So I will have my declutter playlist linked down below in case you're interested in checking out any of my other declutters that I have done recently. But if you would like to get started on this declutter, why don't we go ahead and jump into it. So I'm gonna work on concealers first. It's what I really want to focus on. This is where I put my concealers. It's just like this little acrylic bin here. And it's just kind of gotten a little bit, uh, I don't know, just a little bit out of hand concealer wise for me. I know there's a couple in here that are almost empty or that I just really don't like. So I want to uh, get this kind of knocked down a little bit here. So just kind of reaching in for them. Um, the first one here is from Urban Decay. This is the Naked Skin Concealer. This is like my favorite concealer at the moment. I mentioned it in my best of 2017 video. I love this concealer, so definitely going to be keeping that one. I also have in here from Tarte. This is the Tarte Shape Tape, of course. So many people love this concealer and I am definitely one of them. I know I'm about out though. I really do need to repurchase this concealer. I really do love the Tarte Shape Tape, so I do wanna keep this one and use it until it is completely gone. Also in here, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. If you can tell in here that it is pretty used up. Uh, I've been using this one quite a bit lately too because I know it's almost gone. So I keep reaching for it to try to use it completely up, but I kind of have to dip back in at least two times to put under just one eye. So it is about empty. So I'm gonna just go ahead and toss it. I know it's been open for a while and I have very, very few uses left. So I can go ahead and toss that one. Um, I have two here from Kevin Aquan. Kevin Aquan did send me a PR package with their Supernatural concealers. So the two that I kept for myself, one is in light and the other one says EC Corrector and it's just actually a little bit um, darker than the other one, but I really, really enjoy this concealer as well. I believe I mentioned it in my Best of Beauty video. If I didn't, I should have because I reach for it quite a bit. It kind of reminds me, it's kind of like a cross between the Urban Decay Naked Skin and the Tarte Shape Tape. It's kind of like right in the middle of both of those, but I really enjoy these ones, so I am gonna hold on to those. This one here is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Uh, this one, I do like this one. It's a little bit dark for me, so I like mixing it with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer that I just got that's too light for me. I kind of mix these two together. It's pretty good. It's not my favorite concealer, but I still like it, and I like that it's a drugstore option, so I'm going to keep it for now. And then next up, I have this one from NYX. This is their Sculpt and Highlight Duo, so there's a concealer on one end and then a cream contour shade on the other. I mentioned this. I believe it was in my Flashback Friday to my Best of Beauty 2016 video. This was a favorite in 2016, but I mentioned when I was doing the Flashback video that I don't really love it as much anymore and I don't reach for it as much and I know that it's almost completely gone. You got very little product on each side and I know this one's about used up anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I also did find my Pure Cameo Contour Stick. I believe I mentioned this in the flashback video as well and I was so upset because I couldn't find it. I did find it in one of the drawers when we were uh, repainting my office. I had to move everything out and I put a bunch of makeup into a drawer and then forgot to empty it out completely. So I did find it. It, which was good but I did mention in the flashback video that I hadn't even realized that I had misplaced it <laughs> which is not good um, there's a concealer on one end and then the contour stick on the other I mostly reached into this for the contour stick but since I couldn't even remember that I had misplaced it I am gonna go ahead and declutter it um, but I did get quite a few uses out of it I really did enjoy it and then next up in here, I have the Number 7 Radiant Concealer. I really like a lot of products from Number 7. This one is a bit of a different uh, kind of applicator there, and you kind of click it up to get the product to come out. This is a really light coverage concealer, but it does give a really nice glow to the under eyes. I reach for this one mostly in the summer. Uh, like I haven't reached for it lately with the colder months, and I just need a little bit more coverage around this time, but I am still going to hold on to it because I think it is a really nice concealer. I also have in here the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer, and this one is pretty much gone. I really enjoy this concealer. This is definitely one of my favorites, both the Maybelline Fit Me and the Maybelline Better Skin. I just think they are both really solid concealers. If you're looking for good ones from the drugstore, I would suggest both of these. Um, but yeah, this one is pretty much empty. I mean, you can see in there, it's really tough for me to get product out, and I have to dip back in like three, four times just to get some concealer onto the wand. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss that one. 
Also in here I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealer. I mentioned this in my makeup I love but everyone else seems to hate video. A lot of people really do not like this concealer but I really really do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep it still and I don't know if you'd be able to tell like there is a pretty good uh, dent taken out because I really enjoy this concealer so I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. This one is from Flower Beauty. This one was sent to me from Flower Beauty. It kind of reminds me a bit of the uh, number seven one, like applicator style wise, and you kind of click this up to get the product out. Unfortunately, the concealer is not a good match for me. It was too light and almost like too yellow for my under eyes. And also it just ended up not being my favorite formula ever. So I gave it a couple tries, um, but this one was not my favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one. I also have in here, this is from Julep. Uh, this technically is considered a foundation. It's the 5-in-1, uh, what's this called? 5-in-1 Cushion Complexion Skin Perfector. It says that you can use it as a foundation, you can use it as a concealer, you can use a mask cream contour, cream bronzer, things like that. And this one is in the shade Linen, and this is what I use as a concealer. I just go in with a pretty light hand and use a damp beauty blender when I want to use it as a concealer. But I think it's pretty nice and it's fairly new to me, but I have still been reaching for it. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this one. I also have in here the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. This is their new concealer. I have the shade uh, Medium Light Neutral, and I also have Light Neutral, but I don't know where that's at. Um, it might be sitting on my desk because I do really like this concealer. When I reviewed it, I said I, I wouldn't be able to call it a favorite, and I, I still stand by that. It's not a favorite favorite, but it's like a notch below. I do reach for it quite a bit. It's very full coverage. It's very easy to blend and I like the way it makes my under eyes look. It's just a bit of a drier formula so I have to kind of be a little careful with it, especially around this time of year. But I am going to go ahead and hold on to these because I really have been enjoying them. Uh, this one right here, I believe this is from Amazing Cosmetics. Yes, this is the Amazing Cosmetics Hydrate Concealer. This one was just okay to me. I've had it for quite some time. I definitely liked it more than the other concealer that they sent to me, um, which I will show here in a little bit. It was a little bit light though, like really, really light, but it was nice and creamy. Um, I just, you know, I haven't really reached for this at all. I think if I'm trying to be cutthroat with my declutters, I, I think I should go ahead and get rid of this. I could pass it on to a friend or family member too because there's still quite a bit of product left in it. And I don't think it's gone bad yet, so I wouldn't need to toss it. So I can go ahead and pass this on maybe to someone who's a little bit fairer than I am. I have a couple concealers in here from Morphe. Okay, I have four. I have four Morphe concealers in here. These were sent to me by Morphe, and unfortunately, I really don't like these. I believe I did a video of my least favorite products from my favorite brands, and I believe I mentioned the Morphe concealers because I like Morphe and I own a lot from them and I like the brand, but these concealers did nothing for me. They're like three times drier than the Urban Decay All Nighter, which the All Nighter concealer is about the driest I will go with a concealer formula, and these ones are even drier. They were very hard to blend out, kind of once you put them on the eye, it's like it's just stuck there and it really didn't look well for me. So I do not need to keep these around. I know this shade I never even used, so I could pass that on or donate, because um, I can't donate used makeup where I'm at, so I could even donate that one if someone would get better use out of it. These other three I did use, so I wouldn't be able to uh, donate, but I could pass them on and see if maybe other people like them a bit more than me, but I feel like I don't really hear a lot of great things about the Morphe concealers, but I'm gonna go ahead and declutter those four. Uh, also in here I have from Amazing Cosmetics, this is the other concealer that they sent me, and this is the, I think it's just called the Amazing Concealer, but wow, this concealer is like no other concealer, this is what it looks like, but it is so thick, and so, I mean it's very full coverage, and I hear like this is what the celebrities use, and this is what they use for like red carpet events and stuff, and I get it because it covers everything, but it's just like for every day, it's just not necessary for me. Even if I want a full coverage, this is just still too much. No matter how light handed I go, it's just too thick and too much. So I very rarely use this because it makes my under eyes look crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. Kevin here, this is from Kevin Aquan, and this is called the Sensual Skin Enhancer. And I was a little confused when I got it because I was like, what is this? Um, but it's basically, you can use it as a concealer, you can use it as a foundation. I'm sorry, I tried to change my camera settings and the autofocus now is like very, very strange. This is okay. It's just, it's just a lot. Like it's not quite as intense as the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer, but 
it's kind of a lot to to deal with I like it more for just kind of like spot concealing kind of hesitant on this one I'm kind of looking at my piles like how how am I doing um I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep it for just a little bit longer it's Kevin Aquan it's very it's very pricey and I was very excited to get this little package in here um, I'm gonna keep it for just a little bit longer and see how I do. If I haven't used it a lot by the next time I declutter, I'll get rid of it, but I wanna keep it for right now. Um, I also remembered to go and pull out the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is still in my like kind of testing new makeup drawer. Um, my review on it will be coming, I think in tomorrow's video. I'll be doing my Black Friday haul follow-up and I have some more thoughts on this concealer. Unfortunately, the shade is too light for me, but like I said, I like to mix it with my L'Oreal Pro Glow, which is a little dark um, and then it's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this. This is probably my newest concealer that I purchased. I have this one here from Gorgeous Cosmetics and again, I really did not enjoy this one. It's in the shade Light Neutral. It's way, way too light for me, and I just didn't love the way it made my under eyes look either. I used it for when I was reviewing it, which was quite some time ago, and then I don't think I ever touched it again because it just wasn't a favorite of mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one. And then I also have in here, the last one is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is a favorite. I've been through so many of these, and you can see that you know that's pretty down there as well. But this is a favorite. I feel like this is a favorite of a lot of people's. I see this mentioned so often. Even now, this is a older, older product, but it's still so freaking good. I will be keeping this one. This is the bomb. Here are my two piles, and really cool. I am keeping 12 and decluttering 12. Boom. I feel like that's the best I've done on a declutter in a very long time. So that is pretty cool. But yeah, keeping 12 concealers, getting rid of 12 as well. So I am pretty happy with that. It's going to be it for concealers. So let's jump over into the setting powders. Okay, so next up we're going to work on, these are like my setting powders uh, or face powders, things like that. Next up I have this one from Julep Beauty. This is fairly newer to me, but I really, really like this powder. And when I first opened it up, I was like, okay, sure, it's a white powder, so that's weird. But it actually makes the skin look really, really nice. I even like the little applicator with it. I just take a little bit and dust it all over my face and it really does give you a very like smooth, flawless finish. I've really been liking this one. I took it traveling with me over Christmas as well. Thought that one was very nice, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. I have these two here from Pure Cosmetics. If you're not new to my channel, I've talked about this product a lot. This is the 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Powder, and I get mine in the shade Tan. Now, I have been buying these since forever. Um, this is my older one, and then when I started running low, I went out and picked up a new one as well. I've been buying these since I was in college. It was kind of like my first powder foundation ever. I just found it at Ulta and kind of like randomly bought it, but I have continued to love on this and continued to repurchase it several times over the years. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one because it's it's pretty down there and it's it's you can tell it just needs to be tossed. It's been open for a very long time and I have the backup ready to go. So, I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one and keep this one, but yeah, this is one of my favorite favorite products, so I do want to keep that one. This poor little guy, this is the Rimmel Translucent Powder and the cap broke um, fairly recently, but the cap did break. This is one where I am shocked that you cannot see that I have hit pan because I have had this product for years. I mean, years. And I have used it so much. I know that I am light-handed with makeup and I, I don't ever like overdo it with makeup, but I'm still really surprised that I have not hit pan on this one. This is such a nice powder. It is so affordable. It's just such a staple. When I was first starting out my makeup collection, I was always seeing this recommended and it is what I bought and I really enjoy it. Uh, because I have lost the cap and because I know I've had it for a very long time, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it, but honestly, even no matter how many powders I decide to keep, if I'm at like CVS, I kinda wanna repurchase it just to have it in my collection. It's just been a favorite of mine, but this one's very old, has no cap. It's very sad. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one. This one here is from Winky Lux, and this is called the Diamond Complexion Powder in Medium. This was sent to me from Winky Lux, and I am not gonna lie, I don't really get this product because they say it's a complexion product, but when talking with Winky Lux, they said you can use it to like set your face makeup, you can use it as a powder foundation, you can use it to set your under eyes, and I was like, I don't really get it because it has just like very loose kind of shimmer to it nothing too overpowering but I'm like I wouldn't want to put that on my under eyes they even said you can use this as like a subtle highlighter I'm like I don't get it I don't feel like it's that universal that I can do that many different things so 
I don't really quite understand this product and I barely reach for it, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one on. Maybe someone else will love that one more than I do. Uh, this next one here is the Maybelline Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. I really love this guy and I always have it in my clutch with me. I like taking it out at nights because it's very small and compact. It fits easily into my clutch, but it's a great powder and I even like this little applicator guy with it. Um, so I don't have to worry about like packing an extra powder brush or anything like that. So I am always traveling with, with this one. It's one of my favorite powders as well. So I definitely want to keep that one. Also from Maybelline, I have the Master Fix by Face Studio Setting Powder. So this is a loose powder from Maybelline. I bought this as kind of like a, you know, hoping to find like a drugstore alternative to some of my favorite setting powders. But unfortunately, this one gives a very, very intense flashback. It's not a big deal if I'm not going anywhere or, you know, maybe I'm just filming a video. But if I'm going out and about, I really don't want to wear this because the flashback on the under eyes is pretty extreme. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this one. Loose powders aren't so much my favorite anymore, but I, I don't need this one. I know I tend to avoid it most times. Um, but one that I really do enjoy, this is a good drugstore alternative here. This is Pixie by Petra, and it is their Quick Fix Translucent Powder. What you can do is you can kind of pop the cap off like that, and then you have a little applicator here, so you just kind of shake some product up and press it onto your face. But what I do is actually just take the whole cap off, and then I can dip my beauty blender or my brush into this loose powder, and I like it better than the little sponge that comes on it. I actually really do like this powder, and it's not too overwhelming. Uh, it doesn't leave a white cast on me, and I think this one is a good uh, drugstore alternative. So the Pixie by Petra, I'm going to go ahead and hang on to this one. The one that is my favorite of powder is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I have used this one quite a bit and I just really like it. Um, it's the Secret Brightening Powder, so not the translucent powder that everyone has lost their minds over, but I really do like this one because it does brighten up the under eyes and especially like last year and like late 2015 even, I was super into like very, very bright under eyes, like concealer, brightening powders, and this was the one that was kind of always my go-to. So I do wanna keep this one, I still do enjoy it when I'm going out and about and I want to really lock my makeup into place, a lot of times I'll be reaching for that one. This one is from Tarte Cosmetics and this is their Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I do like this one as well. I wouldn't consider it an absolute favorite, but it is still nice. I reach for it every once in a while. I like it for my under eyes, but I kind of like it to use with a damp sponge and kind of press it into my face. I feel like it leaves a really, did it, did it say smooth? Yeah, smooth, because I was gonna say it leaves your face like I'm very smooth, so that makes sense with the name, Smooth Operator. Um, I do like it for that use, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this one too, because I do like it. This one here is from Kat Von D, and this is the Locket Brightening Powder, and mine is in the shade Peach. So I bought this when I was definitely like in my loose powder craze, which like I said, I have kind of gotten over. But this one, I don't know what it is with this bottle, but I don't know if you can tell on camera, it is so messy. No matter how I close it, no matter how tight I make sure I close it, it still gets powder freaking everywhere, even when I'm not even using it. So that kind of drives me crazy. The powder is a bit darker. It has like that peach tint to it, which is to help kind of brighten up the under eyes. But I almost worry that it's a little bit too dark on me. And especially in the winter time, it is for sure too dark for me. So this, this I don't know. It's not been a favorite anymore, and especially with the coloring and the packaging. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one on. I feel like someone else could, could love this one more than I can. And then the last one here is from Maybelline, and this is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 310. And you can tell that I have really loved on this guy and I've gotten a lot of use out of it. I do think that this is a really nice powder. Um, I haven't used it in a while because I either am reaching for my peer or my other Maybelline powder, but I do like this one. I'm kind of looking at my piles again, like how did I do, how did I do, should I keep it? I mean, really, I only kept my Pure and the Maybelline face powder like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one too. I do like this one a lot, and now that I've decluttered some other ones, you know, maybe I'll be reaching in for this one as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. Okay, so these are my two piles, and it's kind of funny because I'm keeping seven and decluttering five, but I kind of want to, just because I was really excited how I did with my concealers, I think I want to pick one from my keep pile and put it in my pass pile so I can be at six and six. And this is, this is a tough choice. I was either between the Maybelline or the Tarte, but I think I'm going to pass along the Tarte because 
I just don't do the loose powders as much anymore and I think I would use the Maybelline more. So those were the two I kind of struggled on. So I'm going to take Tarte and I'm going to put it into the declutter pile. So now I will have six and six on each. So yay! So that is my keep pile for my face powders and setting powders and then my declutter pile. So that's pretty good. I feel very proud and accomplished with this declutter today. Whew, that's awesome. So after that, that's going to do it uh, for this round of decluttering. That is it for my latest declutter video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me declutter my concealers and my setting and face powders. If you guys did enjoy this declutter, I hope that you will give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you will also consider subscribing before you go, and I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.